So now let's have a closer look at the for loop, such that we iterate over a sentence being sentence equal to never, odd, or even. We can iterate over this sentence such that we get every letter at a time, so we can make four letter. So we're using the for loop, as you can see in the orange, and we're getting back one letter at a time, so we have called it letter. We've got in the variable we have called sentence. So if we print this back one at a time, we see we get print letter equals, then print back the letter, and as you can see, we're iterating over the string, being never, odd, or even. Another handy thing to remember is that we can iterate over a range of a string, iterate from zero to the length of sentence. So if we now change this, so we're getting a number each time, because we're getting a number, so let's name it appropriately. Push F5 to save and run. As you can see, we're iterating over the string. So we can see its length. By doing this, we can also print the sentence. And we can, use, and we can print it using its index being num. So we can print it off one at a time, iterating over it. And we're getting the letter each time, so let's call it letter. So we're going to let it equals N E V E R using an index from the range to print it off. By doing this, we can manipulate the string itself at different values. So this is very important to remember how to iterate over the range and get its index. So now we can make a new string, such a new sentence is equal to, we can make it empty. And let's just say, for example, we could put an if statement. So if number is greater than let's say what zero one two three four five make new sentence equal to itself plus the individual value that we're getting so we're going to index every letter then add it to new sentence when it's above five so now if we adjusted this print statement so we just simply print new sentence equals new sentence f5 to save and run and as you can see we're printing this every time in the for loop we are getting as we grow it o odd or even it's quite neat and just for fun because this is a nice handy little string Let's make make a value such that value is equal to the length of sentence. And what we'll do each time we run this for loop, we'll go value can be equal to minus one from itself. So this time we're going to append using value. So F5 to save and run. And as you can see, we're now doing it backwards. This is also very handy to know how to iterate backwards and manipulating strings is something you want to become very familiar with. Because of the way the for loop operates giving you back individual values one at a time, it is very handy and you should become very familiar with the for loop and string manipulation.